Today, I'm gonna to show you the best way to post your panorama photos to Instagram. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and today I'm gonna to show you how to automatically cut up your panoramas in Photoshop, making them perfect to post as swipe through images on Instagram. All you gotta do to get started is a little bit of math and follow the guidelines that we're gonna put right down below in the description, as well as on flurn.com. Let's jump into Photoshop and we'll show you how it's done. So here in Photoshop, I have pulled up our guideline and with Instagram, you can post square images, you can post landscape images and portrait style images. And here are the recommended dimensions of each of these. Now, in this case, we're gonna take this landscape photo and cut it up vertically into five different segments that we're gonna post as portraits. So it's basically posting five different portraits that you can then swipe through and see the entire panorama. So I'm gonna use this portrait aspect ratio or sizing right down below. So I know that this is gonna be 1080 pixels wide by 1350 pixels tall. So basically what I need to do at this point is take this 1080 and multiply it by five because I want five vertical segments. There we go, we can see 1080 times five and we get 5400. So now I need to know that if I'm gonna cut this up into five different segments, I've gotta make my image 5,400 pixels wide. So let's go ahead to my original image and I'm gonna hit C for my crop tool. Then here at the very top where it says ratio, I'm gonna change this to width by height resolution. So there we go. Now I'm just gonna type in here our exact number. We can see 5,400, so 5,400 space PX that lets us know it's pixels. And then we're just gonna use the height that we found right over here. So that's gonna be 1350. There we go, so 1350 space PX. All right, fantastic. And that actually looks good. It goes ahead and crops, you can see it's gonna crop our image just a little bit, but I'm gonna hit enter and we are good to go. And now if I go to my image and I hit image and then down to image size, we can see that in fact, we are at 5400 by 1350 pixels. So that's perfect. Now it's time to go ahead and divide this up into five vertical slices. Luckily, there's an automatic way to do this in Photoshop. So back here in Photoshop, let's hit F for full screen. We're gonna zoom into our image. We're gonna go to view and then down to new guide layout. There we go. Now our guide layout allows us to create a number of columns that we like. You can see you can add as many or as few columns as you would like. In this case, I'm just gonna type in the number five. Now, if something is filled in with the gutter, you just wanna make sure that these are set to zero. So your width and your gutter, set those to zero and hit okay. There we go. And now you can see my image is automatically divided up into five vertical segments that are perfectly even. So the next thing we need to do is basically create slices from these guides. So we're gonna grab the slice tool. It's right here under the crop tool. So if you just click and hold on the crop tool, you'll see you've got the slice tool. So let's go ahead and go to our slice tool. And up here at the very top, you've got an option that says slices from guides. So let's go ahead and click that. And we can see it automatically turned my image into five equal slices. So now it's time to export out our image. We can export all these slices at once by going to file and down to export and here to save for web. This is gonna be a legacy, but that's totally okay. Now let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. You can see we have our slices. We just wanna make sure we select all of our slices. So let's go ahead and click on our first slice and then hold shift to click on each one of the slices. Just make sure you get all of the slices. In this case, we're just gonna do JPEG at a quality of 60. That looks great. We don't have to touch anything else. So let's go ahead and hit save here. And you just wanna put this wherever your source images are. In this case, I'm just gonna hit save. It went ahead and created an images folder and I've got everything named out perfectly exactly what we wanted. So this is our panorama ready to go. And if you see our file size, the dimensions are 1080 by 1350. And here we go, 1080 by 1350. So now all we have to do is take each one of these images and make sure we upload it to Instagram in the correct order. And then when someone swipes through the images in your feed, they're gonna be able to see the entire panorama. So to do this math, just be sure to check with the recommended pixel dimension for posting on Instagram. You can follow the link in the description right down below or just pull it directly from the description here on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.